take the Marcoses can never ever um, admit wrongdoing. I mean, th- this is the reason they have been spending 30 years to regain a mandate because from their point of view, um, they have been unjustly accused, that they have been the victim of a conspiracy and that they are undergoing persecution. There's no other way for them to make sense. There used to be a saying that um, Mrs. Marcos herself, after she was a young sort of, you know, bride, had ha, couldn't bear the fact when she realized the the harsh realities of politics. And then she had to seek um, help. And the basic choice she was given is, well, then either leave your husband or you just have to embrace it. And what she did according to this theory, is that she then created a a little bubble around herself in which everything made sense. And that is what enabled her through all these decades to to hold it together. Now, um, that may or may not be true, but it definitely is true in terms of the whole Marcos uh, political identity and myth. They can never um, admit to anything they are accused of. And in fact, they must seek to triumph in the end against everyone who has uh, accused them of this. The thousands that you would see going to Los Baños a few years ago and a lot of voters that, that reporters encounter are doing so because they believe that they are they are going to get a part of the Marcos billions from Yamashita's gold or whatever. And it's this whole sort of cargo cult where there will be mana for Marcos that will come. That is a big chunk uh, of their of their myth and their vote and their machinery. It's this promise that they will everyone is going to benefit um, and they're probably going to be tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of voters, you know, who view the Marcoses as a lotto ticket to to prosperity. 